All right, so in our limited time of marriage, we would like to give the advice of uh, when you do, when a fight happens, which it will, happen. which it will, even though you guys may not think that, learn how to fight fair, learn how to listen, and then be willing. Be the willing to be the first one to say you're sorry. Yeah. First and foremost for Danny, and Carolyn can do it sometimes too. <laughs> but Danny needs to do it That's first. True. He's most good at that. It's good. So that would be our advice. Yeah. That's our advice. <laughs> That's it. My advice to Carolyn would be to never let Danny win the argument because he'll probably just get a big head over it and be really proud. So yeah, that's my advice. <laughs> I guess don't come over and steal my internet connection too much because you don't want to outlast your welcome. Um, and let your relationships last longer than mine. So when Carolyn goes to hit you, just take the first one. Block the second and then just pretend like it never happened and you'll avoid being hit for like another good three years. So that's about it. Um, Danny, get used to killing the spiders in your bed and then having to sleep on the couch for a few weeks. <laughs> Danny, just make sure that Carolyn comes to my apartment at least once a week. <laughs> we need to swim a lot. <laughs> that's all. I'm done. <laughs> Carolyn, I have one piece of advice for you about Danny, and it's crucial. Now remember this, if Danny ever gets a head injury, he needs two things when he comes home, a 7-Up and a Hot Wheels car. Okay, Danny, Carolyn is very energetic, and one year she went to look for frogs, and she stepped on one. So just be careful that she doesn't step on anything precious to you, because that would just be very sad. Danny, the day has finally come. <laughs> it's hard to believe. It is hard to believe. 22, 22, right? Yeah, 22 years. 22. Um, it's, it's just uh, some fatherly advice. <laughs> she is now, instead of your mother, the most important woman in your life. Um, that is true. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you just always need to make sure you keep her needs top and present. Um, and that you always honor her uh, the way... Well, you know how to do it. You've done it for the last four years. Yeah. Um, but um, we're thrilled to have <laughs> Carolyn come into the family. Um, she's going to be a great daughter for us. She'll be a really fun sister for both Quinn and Sarah. Yes. And uh, we're just looking forward to having you guys uh, around together more as husband and wife. And I just want to say that we have prayed for you, Carolyn. Uh, well, I've prayed for you since Danny was a baby. So, and we will continue praying for you and your relationship as husband and wife. And we could not be happier that you are joining our family and that Danny is joining your family. And um, we just, we love you both very much. And we um, thank God for both of you. And um, we just will pray that you have a very happy marriage together. We and love you. since she was praying for you as Danny was a baby, just remember those pudgy little baby pictures. <laughs> Yes, that's when she was praying for that's you. That's right. So, um, <laughs> we love you. Congratulations and uh, enjoy uh, the day and the next couple weeks, and we'll see you when you get back. Carolyn and Danny, if you're getting this, it means that you've made it back from your honeymoon. Uh, welcome back. Welcome to the start of your new life back in Columbus. And uh, I hope that you took my advice and you didn't come back when you're supposed to come back, but you took an extra three days, four days, or a week. Hope you did that. Um, again, we had a wonderful time at the wedding. Actually, it's going to be tomorrow. <clears throat> but um, hey, wonderful life together. We're, we're just so happy for the two of you that you're um, united as one. And we look forward to spending lots of time to you, with you guys as a married couple. All right. Caroline, I just want to thank you for choosing me to be your maid of honor. It was my joy and pleasure and one of the biggest honors I've ever had in my life. I prayed that when you grew up, we would be friends. I had to be a parent first, and the Lord answered that prayer. Glad you're back, and we love you both.